Thank you for the introduction. I'm Kota Morishima from Hamamatsu Photonics. And in this session, I will talk about wavelength measurement techniques uh, that are critical for micro LED displays. First of all, let me introduce us. The Hamamatsu Photonics is a company that develops light sources and photo detectors, as well as imaging devices and measurement instruments that utilize these devices. Our products are used for various situations such as, uh, in, such as uh, manufacturing or biological or semiconductors and so on. Especially, our spectrometers are used worldwide to evaluate LEDs. We have played an important role in the, in the wavelength measurement of LEDs. So, why wavelength measurement is important? Now, let's give it a try. This is a band of the color spectrum. If we shift the lower half of this by two nanometers, your eye will see an association here. I think we can say that the wavelength error should be less than sub nanometer to achieve an ideal display. However, it is difficult to achieve this wavelength resolution with commonly available hyperspectral cameras and also difficult for spectrometers with throughput problems. Then, we propose brand new technology as a solution to this problem. This is our proposal, Mini PL. This is a non-destructive and non-contact PL inspection system which can measure the entire micro-LED wafer. Mini PL has a unique wavelength measurement technique that does not use a spectrometer. I will explain it now. The wavelength measurement technology we have developed is called Lambda Capture. Lambda capture consists of an LRG filter that splits the incident light into a transmission side and a refraction side, and two cameras that receive the light from the two sides. The LRG filter is a special beam splitter whose transmitters, whose transmitters changes uh, linear, linearly with wavelengths. So let's consider the case where light of such a spectrum uh, is incident on an LRG filter. In this case, uh, we assume that the light intensity of the camera on the transmission, transmission side and refraction side is equal. When the spectrum is shifted toward the short wavelength side, uh, the light intensity on the refractive side is larger than that on the transmissive side. Conversely, a shift to the longer wavelength side results in a larger light intensity on the transmissive side. Thus, a lambda capture can calculate the amount of a wavelength shift based on the light intensity ratio of the two cameras. And this is the schematic of the mini PL optics. Two PL images are acquired by the two cameras. Then, the intensity map can be obtained by adding them, and the wavelength map can be obtained by using lambda capture. Here 